Hey, it's Marco here from Fair Realty. Today I'm talking about audio video surveillance uh, during showings. Unfortunately, this practice has become more and more prevalent uh, during my 13 year career. As technology has evolved, more and more people have front door cameras, interior surveillance, maybe for their pets, whatever. Uh, that's fine. This technology is now accessible to the consumer. What I find stupid and creepy is when people continue to use this surveillance uh, when they're selling their home to try to obtain feedback from the buyers and from the buyer's agent. I'm not a fan of that uh, whatsoever. Uh, you also have to consider legal implications. In Canada, it is illegal to film people in secrecy. It can be looked at such as uh, you're collecting their private uh, consumer information, which is definitely illegal. Uh, there are some serious uh, breaches under the Criminal Code Act uh, pertaining to uh, filming people in secrecy. So if you're gonna do this, uh, be careful because uh, the last thing I'd want to do is uh, end up in jail. If I have clients that I can't talk some common sense into in terms of not running surveillance during showings, uh, I'll suggest that we put a note on the front door uh, that the buyer and the buyer's agent can read that says something along the lines of uh, this property is under surveillance. So they are aware when they're going into the property that they are under surveillance. When I represent buyers, I tell my buyers, listen, a lot of houses these days are under audio, video surveillance. Any excitement you may have about the property, any criticism you might have about the property. If you think the property is a piece of shit, probably not a great idea to say the property is a piece of shit inside the house. Uh, while the seller is uh, watching the showing and the comments also keep them to yourself. So, and when we're finished the showing, when we go back outside, we can talk about, you know, are you interested in writing an offer, your criticism, your comments, etc. Because hopefully, you know, when you go outside, hopefully that's not being monitored uh, as well. Uh, but beyond these legal issues and blah, 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 it's just not very productive for the seller to have surveillance because every single buyer is going to have different feedback. You might be doing surveillance as the seller, buyer goes in and says, Wow, I can't believe they have a dining room. That, that you know, we'd never use a dining room. That would be way better as an office. So you as the seller, you run out, you furnish it as an office, you get rid of the dining room a week later, another buyer comes back and says, yeah, this sucks. Why is this a office or dining room or whatever? We think the other would be better. And now the seller is scrambling to refurnish it. You're just gonna frustrate yourself uh, with the feedback from the showings. Leave the feedback to the buyer's agent who sends that feedback to the listing agent who sends it to the seller. You also might get situations along the lines, the buyers are inside the house, they're super excited. You as the seller are watching this, the buyers are saying, oh, we're gonna write, we're gonna write. They go outside, they walk around the neighborhood, they notice a rezoning application they don't like at all and they call up their buyer's agent and say, hey, listen, we don't like the rezoning application in the neighborhood. We're not going to write on this property. But you, as the seller, all you saw was, oh, we're gonna write, we're gonna write. So now all of a sudden you're waiting for this offer that's never going to materialize. So on a practical level, I really think surveillance is stupid as well. Makes people uncomfortable. If I was selling my own place and I have sold my own places, I would never do surveillance. I could care less what people think of my house. Bring me an offer or don't bring me an offer. That's it for this week. Marco Juras, Fair Realty.